Good evening and welcome to Travel Talk with Lori. And Bill. And Bill, that's right, exactly. We're here tonight, we're going to talk about food on the Carnival Mardi Gras. But first we want to thank our sponsor, Rocky Mount Toyota, for being such an awesome sponsor. And if you're looking a new car or a previously owned vehicle, Rocky Mount Toyota are the place you want to go because they treat you like a king and queen. Yes, you they agree, do. Bill? Yes, they do. And of course, they got fantastic cars too. I mean, who doesn't want to drive a new Toyota? Especially them Highlanders. Man. Oh yeah, that's that's like luxury. Yeah, that's like luxury in itself. Okay. And of course, we we didn't buy a brand new. We bought a pre-owned from them, and we've had nothing but excellent, excellent, it's an excellent vehicle. So go out there and and try and try them out, and tell them that Lori and Bill sent you from the Travel Talk Show. So tonight we're talking food. So first we're going to see a video about one of our favorite items on Carnival Cruise. Yes, it is. And you know, Bill, looking at that makes me want to be right back on that ship having it for dinner. That's my favorite night of the week on board is when they serve spaghetti carbonara. And it used to be one of our favorite things when we did ship inspections or ship tours. Because they always gave because it. Because they always, you always got spaghetti carbonara. So that was like, yes, when you're on Carmel, on that Carmel ship tour, you would know what you're going to have for lunch. Part of it's going to be spaghetti carbonara. Yep. Yep. Yes. And chocolate melting cake. Yeah, and the chocolate melting cake. Yeah. Yes, yes, which we'll be looking at just a little bit later. So we're talking food tonight. We want to talk about all the food we enjoyed on the Carnival Mardi Gras. And there was so much, I must have gotten together about 80 pictures, and I had to eliminate some of them because we will be seeing some pictures in a few minutes of some of the meals we enjoyed. But one of the best things to us about cruising is the food. And the choices. And, right, and the amount of choices you have and the fact that Bill can get what he wants and Lori can have what she wants and it's just a normal evening and neither one of us has to cook exactly neither one of us has to cook or so do the dishes right or do dishes and that's and that's a really nice thing too when you can just leave the dishes to somebody else yep really good thing really good so we're gonna be seeing some pictures in a minute of all the food we enjoyed and some of my favorites, like the strawberry yogurt. See, here we are, the first day, the very first day we boarded, we ate at the Italian sandwich shop. Sandwich shop. And it was Which awesome. was right next to the Italian pizza place. We had pizza, too. Yes, yes. we did. Yeah. So here's Bill, happy he's having 
I think that's pizza. Is that a sandwich? Uh, that's the pizza first, and the sandwich is sitting there. Too. Yep, yep. You can tell. You can tell. Yep, that's that happy smile. I'm on board. Yep, that's within minutes of being on board. Now, here I am enjoying not strawberry, but chocolate yogurt. Strawberry is my favorite, but the first day you got to take what to have. And that was up by, um, oh, um, that's on the Lido dude. Guy's Burgers. Yeah, yep. Yeah, that's up by that Guy's Burgers. That was outside Burgers. near Guy's Burgers. Yep, so I'm enjoying that ice cream that first day. Frozen yogurt, ice cream, whichever it was. I had ice cream, you had fro frozen yogurt. Yeah, I'm the frozen yogurt eater. She's the fro yo, and I'm the. Uh, so here we are enjoying it, and look how nice that ship looked. You know? Everything was spotless. Yeah, it is me having a burrito. <laughs> yeah, that she would enjoy a blue iguana. It sure was. Yes, and I couldn't resist but put that one up there because there you are enjoying that. Same day, same shirt on, okay? Yeah. Same day. Yeah, because yep. everything got worn once. Yeah, of course, here I am enjoying my sandwich. That was your meatball, right? Yep, the meatball sandwich, and those things were good. Yeah. Those things were excellent. But what I really liked was if you can, and you can look out past me through those windows, you can see the seating on the outside there. That was a nice seating area outside the whole That whole area was yeah, huge. It was. It was nice. All those outdoor seatings. And I can imagine like October. Oh, sitting out there. November. Yeah, even nice December. Fall. January even. Okay. I bet even in January in the Caribbean, that'll be a nice place to be sitting out at yep. during the day or early evening. Can yes. you imagine? It'd be so nice. So nice out there. So here, here's one of my favorites too, the strawberry soup, okay? I love the strawberry soup. That's like dessert before you even eat your meal. It can be, okay? You know, that's some of the best stuff to me, that strawberry soup. And of course, I have to have it every time it's on the menu. And the first night was when they had strawberry soup and the, and the guy was nice enough to let me know they were gonna have my peach soup the last night. So I got to enjoy both, the strawberry the first night, the peach soup the second night. But it's so nice the way they bring it to the table and they pour it out for you and then you got that little gelatin stuff in the middle of the strawberry. It's wonderful. Of course, I normally don't eat the greenery. Usually I don't eat the greenery. But look how nice that table looked too. Yeah, I'm thinking we should be back. Now, this is the tomato bisque. bisque. Tomato bisque. And I enjoyed that, too. That was the first night, too. But but I'm, I'm hooked on all the soups on board these cruise ships. I love the soups. It doesn't matter how hot it is outside. I love the soups. So this was really good, too. Really good soup. Of course, you didn't try either one that night. Now, this is the... Loaded fries. Right, the Philly steak and cheese loaded fries. They were really good. I yes, like they them. Were. They, they, they were good fries. They have a um, French fry, um, like, food truck that every day they had a different style French fry you could try. Yeah, one day they had chili fries. Yep, chili dog fries and mm -hmm. all, all kinds of different combinations. But this one was really good. It's so a lots of variety, yes. And it's, it's hard to decide what you're having for lunch and dinner. When there's so much variety on board. Even breakfast, in a few minutes we're gonna see some of the breakfasts we had. But lunchtime was a struggle for me because it was like so many options, so much stuff you want to try. Yep. I had to start assigning like tomorrow we'll eat here and the next day we'll eat here because there's just so many choices. But then where you look, the thing was there was plenty of seating. This is one of the meatball appetizers at the- um, Cucina del Capitano. Yes. Yep. It's one of the appetizers we had, the meatball. And that was really good. I enjoyed that too. That's where we had spaghetti carbonara. Yes. Was at the Italian place. It sure was. But there again, it was just so much room everywhere. And the fact that they allowed um, at the Cucina del Capitano and Chabang's, that if you had your time dining, we could eat in any of those, either one of those as well as the dining room or Guy's Pig and Anchor. Yes. 
which we'll see in a few minutes. Now, this this was yours. What did you have? That was on? eggplant parmesan, and it was delicious. That's what we should have for dinner tonight: eggplant parmesan on the Mardi Gras. This was my veal marsala, and that was really really good. That, that totally was, different than any way you've ever had that before. Yes, but it was good, and I would have that again. There was a lot of veal on that plate. That was really good. Spaghetti carbonara. So here, here's the, the start of the spaghetti carbonara. Yep. And it was awesome. Yes, it was. It was awesome as normal. Yes, it was really good. Wasn't a good. morsel left in my bowl. Yep. And of course, we know when you vacation, everybody has those favorites that you like to have when you go to a certain place. People that go to Disney have their favorites. And don't get me started, because I can tell you just as much as anybody about what my favorites are at Disney World. We may have to do that one night. We'll talk about food at Disney. We'll bring on um, Brett and Tiffany Hill from First Class Realty. Realist. And we'll have them on and we'll talk Disney and food. That's exactly what we'll do. I think they can give us a run for the money as far as Dis Disney's food. Yep, yep. Now this was apple. It was almost like a apple pie, but they called it something else, and it was delicious. It was like a, a pastry stuffed with apples. Yeah, exactly yeah. what it was with ice cream on top. Yep. But it was really very good. Yes, you have to try dessert every night on the cruise ship when you're there. Okay. Not that it's a written rule or law, but you just have, you cannot. It is with us. You cannot pass up the desserts, okay? Of course, some nights I don't have a lot of room for dessert. No. This was one of them, but this thing was good. Here we are coming out of dinner. Yeah. Here we are coming out of dinner at the sign. And the hostess took our picture. Yep, there, we so. were happy to have had dinner. Yep. So if you want to know how to spell it, that's how you spell it. Yep, that's Cucina del Capitano. <laughs> yep. And it's huge on the Mardi Gras. I mean, oh, it's a huge restaurant. It's probably six times bigger than the one on the Magic. Yeah, and it's probably... Or the three Sunshine. Or four. The Horizon is probably three or four times bigger than the one on the Horizon. But this was a nice restaurant. Of course, it's right there in that, that Italian piazza. Yes. yes. So, I mean, it was nice because you've got the... Cucina del Capitano, and then you got the pizza place, and you've got the, the Italian sandwich shop, and you've got. Um, There's the bar. Is it Bar Maria? Across that bar that we were you, at. You do have that bar right across. Here we are having Cas Burgers. Yeah, that was a double stack there. And anybody that's ever had a Cas Burger on Carmel knows these are just the most awesome burgers. And French fries. Yes. Of course, I do. Oh, shrimp and grits. I had to switch to shrimp and grits. We had this in New Orleans one morning for breakfast. Actually, the day we were in San Juan, and we got off the ship early, early, and then we got back on, and we had shrimp and grits, and the coffee. Oh, the coffee was wonderful in yes, New Orleans. It was. That's one of the. Uh, that is a Reuben that I got at the Italian sandwich shop. I'm getting hungry now just talking about all this food and thinking about how good it was. Yes, it was. Thinking about all the choices and all the food. Yep. Now here's um, Guy's Pig and Anchor. This is the night we ate there. We ate there one night for dinner. That was what, the sampler plate? Yep, and their mac and cheese was really, really good. Besides the ribs and the brisket. And their uh, baked beans were good. I didn't have baked beans. I had green beans with mine. This is my plate here. I know that. Because I had green beans with mac and cheese. Yeah, I don't eat the mac and cheese. But what I like with that was you could just walk in and get a seat. Now, breakfast. Here we are. That was uh, the, the loaded French toast, toast wasn't yeah, that it? Loaded vanilla French toast Whew. and bacon. That stuff was good. And those little hash browns, I love those too, okay? You just can't see the orange juice sitting in the corner. See, it's almost like if you pick your fork up and eat now. Would you like that picture? Yeah. Makes you want to pick the fork up and start eating. 
Well, I know that's your plate because that's your face mask sitting next to your plate. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And we wore face masks in to eat. Yep. And I, we did have a few rules and regulations we had to follow. Mask had to be worn in the dining. We had to wear masks in the elevators. There, there it is. The premium thing on a Carnival cruise ship is the strawberry yogurt. For you. Okay. Every other day, this is the thing. Okay. <laughs> You can see it sitting there. Doesn't it just look like you can pick it up and have it now, okay? Now, mine was the gelato that they made on board every day. They made two different flavors every day. Now, that looks like one of your plates. It was lunch at Cachina del Capitano. Yes, it definitely was, because I get it loaded with everything I can get in it, okay? Yep. All the vegetables, all the meats, all the everything, okay? Yes, this was lunch. Yep. So it was lunch one day. The thing is, is that everybody out there can enjoy the same food. That was your plate. Yep, that's my Everybody plate. can enjoy this great food. All you have to do is get in touch with us and book to sell on the Carmel Mardi Gras. And the thing is, is that they are selling very safely and everybody's enjoying the cruise with all the new precautions they're putting in place. With everybody having a COVID test that's vaccinated before they board, wearing masks to board and in elevators, in the dining, and in the theaters if you're in the theater to watch a show. It's one of the fastest boardings that we've ever experienced. It in definitely our life. was. And now here, baked Alaska, the last night, okay? And she couldn't finish hers. No, but it was so good. It was so good. I had to stop to talk about a baked Alaska, one of my favorites. But the thing is that you can enjoy all this food and the service because that's another part to me with the meals. The kind of service you get on board the ship, how the, the ones in the dining room wait on you so efficiently and they're so friendly and they were so glad to be back at work. Yes, they And were. even though they had to wear masks the entire time they waited on us, they were happy and you could tell they were smiling behind the mask. And they all wore a button that said the smile behind the mask and it showed their picture on their button, which I thought was a nice little detail because uh, they could not take their mask off. Here is the peach soup I was talking about a few minutes ago. That was very good. Really good. And there's big chicken. Oh, big chicken. That is some of the best chicken and french fries on a sandwich you will ever experience in your life. Lori and I were not going to do any chicken while we were on board because we eat so much chicken while we're home. And it's the best thing we did was go to Shaq's Big Chicken on board there. And here's the really good part. You can have as much from Shaq's Big Chicken that you want while you're on board. Just like you need as many guys' burgers as you want. Not going to happen if you go to Vegas. You're going to have to pay for them in Vegas. Or Blue Iguana Cantina um, burritos. Yes, yes, exactly, exactly. Of course, we know where you're at. Yeah, my burritos get stuffed with chicken, beef, and shrimp. So we're going to take a break, see a commercial from our sponsor, and then another one of our favorite desserts, and we'll be back. Buying a Toyota should be as fun as driving one. This is Trey Turner from Rocky Mount Toyota, where we've made the car buying process simple. Get straightforward pricing on all your favorite Toyota models, so you can skip the hassle and the haggle and get back on the road in no time at all. Plus, enjoy the peace of mind that comes with our complimentary lifetime warranty, unlimited time, unlimited miles. Come see me today at Rocky Mount Toyota or shop online at RockyMountToyota.com.
So I'm going to let you talk about chocolate melting cake. Oh, that it is, is my... definitely your favorite. Yes, it is. Every night. You know, it's a little rich for me sometimes. I can't finish but about half of mine. Yeah, I look forward to them on, on the cruise. You do. You do. Yeah. You love the chocolate melting cake on board the cruise ships. Believe it or not, I don't eat sweets when we're not on a cruise. Well, we don't. none of us eat like this when we're not on a cruise. And it's a good thing we do as much walking as we do. Oh, yeah. Up and down stairs, walking around. Yes, it's a yeah, good I thing. Yeah, I was getting about 15,000 steps a day. Yeah, so we, we, we both was, were 15, 16,000. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. It's a good thing we did, too, because if not, I probably would have come back and gained 50 pounds yeah. from everything we were eating. The thing is that not only the food, and here's chocolate melting cake. Oh, my goodness. Had. Yes. Um, not only the food on board the ships, but the port of calls you go to. You know, like this last cruise, we went to San Juan, Amber Cove, and Nassau. You know, so, I mean, there's such interesting ports of call that you get to go to that you have the option of either, A, getting off and exploring on your own or taking a shore excursion. That looks like tiramisu It was, right and I, I had to stop because I was like, here's one of my favorites, tiramisu, and that was awesome this time around. That tiramisu was really good. Well, I must say that tiramisu uh, um, gelato. gelato was off the hook. See, but I really like that coconut gelato, too. That was like a, that was like a nice treat, the, the coconut. A tropical treat. Yes, but anybody knows anything with coffee is going to be one of my favorites. Yes, it's going to be one of my favorites if it's got coffee in it. Yep. So I definitely like the tiramisu gelato also. But like I say, that coconut was just a nice change. Yes, it was. It really was. Of course, I don't know that we had any bad gelato on board either. Mm -mm. Okay. No, no, no. Trust us. We sampled the gelato, so you don't have to worry about it. It's very good. Okay. And as most people know, we're called coffee mug travel and uh, the the specialty coffee on board was off the hook it was very good it was it was of course i don't think we had regular coffee or specialty coffee that wasn't excellent yes, yes. i really don't think that we did okay of course i don't know that we can have anything bad to say about the carnival body Gras. it was such a wonderful ship and it was just the third selling out so she's still a brand new ship she was so much fun but 12 months from now, she's going to be just as fun because it's going to have all the restaurants yep. and all the fun on board. What I really liked was our balcony, the sliding door to get in and out. Instead of trying to push that <laughs> that door open to get in or out. It definitely was nice to have that new, new you addition to the... just open the door or slid it over and step out, slide it back. But something else we need to mention is during the day, like when we had sea days, they had all kinds of trivia games going on all day long. Yeah, in a lot all of people, kinds of locations. A lot of people enjoy the trivia. And then, of course, bingo. Well, they were doing, what, $5,000 bingos? I think they had a 5000 and a 1000 and I don't even know. A couple know. of $2,000 yeah, bingos. Yeah, they had some high-stake um, bingo games. Yeah. And not to, not, not to not mention is the casino on board. They were... Yep. The casino was hot. And it was huge on board the, the Mardi oh, So a lot of people enjoying the casino. So we're going to break away now and watch a couple more videos about Guy's Burger and Blue Iguana. And cut back and wrap it up for the night. Okay.
was almost like that guy was going to hand me that guy's burger. I'll or you. that blue iguana. Blue iguana. Yep. Hmm. yep. Now, we also want to let you know there are plenty of fresh salads on board. Okay. We had salad a couple of times, too. I don't know that I brought any of those pictures tonight, but we did have some salad. We did do a little bit of healthy eating while we were on board. Yeah, some. We did, not, not a lot, but, but we did. We did some. Okay, there's there's always lots of salads and yeah, healthy yeah. eating on board. So I just want you to know those places are on board too, like that salad place up at um on the Serenity Deck. Yes, yes, and at Blue Iguana you can get it as a salad bowl. And those are really good. They're one of my favorites, the salad bowls. I love those at Blue Iguana. Yeah, I really do because you can get it packed with all the good stuff. Yep. Yeah, so I, I love the salad bowls. So we've enjoyed talking about food on the Mardi Gras tonight. Now I'm going home hungry. Should have had dinner before I come. Because now I'm really hungry. Of course, now I don't want anything we've got at home. Because I'm thinking about food on board a cruise ship. But next week we're not talking about the Carnival Mardi Gras. Not going to tell you what we are going to be talking about. But we will not be talking about cruises on the Carnival Mardi Gras. We're going to break bad with something new to talk about as far as travel goes. So stay tuned next week to see what we're going to be talking about on Travel Talk with Lori and Bill. And we want to thank our sponsor, Rocky Mount Toyota, one more time for being such an awesome sponsor yes, of our are. show. Yes, they are. So we hope everybody has a great rest of your evening and the rest of your week, and we'll see you back next Tuesday night at 7 p.m. to talk travel. Y'all have a good night.